Hi guys, it's Liana from Blur Films, and I wanted to start a little series called A Transition. A transition from my insulin pump to syringes. And so basically, I've had my pump for four years now, and it's it's gonna be a really drastic change for me like I I just want to be able to talk about you know how I feel like, like throughout this whole entire thing like whether I'm just gonna end up crying myself to sleep or you know whether it's actually gonna be okay and I'm gonna see how close I can get to feeling like a normal person again because my my first year with diabetes i only had syringes and then i transitioned to the pump thing and again it's been four years since i've had it and i'm going back to the syringes and it's pretty it's, again it's a really drastic change you go from eating something that has carbs you know anything that has carbs and you give yourself insulin with just like a push of a button by the way this is what it looks like and you know with syringes you have to you know take the insulin bottle and draw it up from there and like into a little fatty area and give yourself insulin and you can see you know you can already kind of see the differences i hope where you can I feel like I'm probably not going to be able to eat as much because I usually try to limit it to injecting myself like five times a day. Like three, three or four of those times will go to like meals or like, you know, the last, last four would be for like a snack, like something extra, like a little bonus for me. And the fifth one would be like my nightly or daily shot that gives me the 24 hour insulin with a pump it gives you insulin 24 hours in small increments to work with your bodily functions mealtime insulin is different it's for your meals i'm not really going to go into detail about that but anyways i want to try to make this video as quick as possible i don't want it to go on for too long but yeah i'm going to be doing a little series and probably uploading every other week to tell you guys how I'm doing you know on a scale of again crying myself to sleep or maybe I'm actually doing okay on how I feel as a normal functioning person like how how <laughs> how all this is gonna make me feel as a person because it really my first year I was kind of just like eh, I really I feel like I don't fit in with anyone you know everyone can just eat and then you know move on to the next thing but I eat and then I have to like you know take a little extra you know take little extra steps to finish off my process so I really hope I can do this like I really hope I can cope with this I'm gonna have to I have no choice really in the matter you know making these this little series is gonna help me a lot because I feel like if I talk about it maybe it will make me feel better you know or maybe it's gonna make someone else feel better who's going through the same thing I really hope it helps someone out there as it is helping me to again cope with all this it's uh, it's just a lot for me <laughs> i might be holding a little service for my pump though it, it has really served me well over the years but i'm gonna go ahead and finish off this video because i don't want it going on for too long um i apologize for the late upload by the way i know it's late but i had to do a few takes <laughs> On this video because I either made it too long or I just kept rambling about something but this video you know this one is to the point and I think it's perfect 
So, you know, if you enjoyed this video, I really hope you did. Like, share, and subscribe for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you're already subscribed, you know, like it. Put a ring on it. You know? You know what I'm saying? Alright, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next update.